<laughs> okay, folks, we're getting close. Those mother f***ing writers went to a f***ing picnic? How many of the questions do they finish? Um, five or six. What? Ten seconds. Catch you on the flap side. You need a party check? <laughs> six. Five. Go to black. Four. Three. Seven. W-E-O-B. The Asylum. I am Cookie Masterson, and if you play this game backwards, you'll hear who killed Bambi's mother. I'm glad it's just you and me. I'm feeling a little needy. And our wrong answer of the game is brought to you by Lawn Wax. Keep your lawn looking clean and smooth without the bumps or red marks. If you happen to find our sponsor's wrong answer of the game, you'll be rewarded with big prizes and cash. <laughs> All right, here we go. First up, undergraduarments. Attention, this is Bob. I need all interns and Donnie in my office stat. Oh my god. Don't worry, Cookie. We will have all your questions ready. Okay. So. <laughs> Anyway, if the eight Ivy League schools decided to pull panty raids on each other, who would not have to cross state lines with panty contraband? Dartmouth panty raiding Yale, Harvard panty raiding Brown, Columbia panty raiding Cornell, or Princeton panty raiding Penn? Of the eight Ivy League schools, only Columbia and Cornell are in the same state, New York. And since they're panties from the Ivy League, I guess that makes them smarty panties. <laughs> Next up, itch like an Egyptian. Which of these pest control products could the pharaoh of Egypt have used to protect his people from one of the ten plagues? Raid wasp and hornet killer, rid lice killing shampoo, black flag roach motels, or the tick key? Time's almost- Ramses, let your money go! Here's what a right answer looks like. Lice is the only insect listed here that was one of the ten deadly plagues of the Bible. I think the pharaoh would have been better off getting the lamb's blood-based spray. Here's a good one. Sergeant, grab that whoopee cushion. At ease, it's a dis or dat. I'm gonna read off seven things. For each one, I want you to tell me if it's a military weapon or something found at the hilarious novelty mall store Spencer's Gifts. If it's a military weapon, press one. If it's Spencer's Gifts, press the number two. Each right answer gets you 300 novel bucks. But get one wrong and you'll be given the 21 gun salute to $300. And you've got 30 seconds. Cool, let's do it. Laser Air Zooka, Cluster Bomb, Dispenser Repeater, Handheld Gig, Grasshopper Cannon, Green Laser Kaleidoscope, Black Light Magic Monster. Not too bad, I'm not gonna make fun of you, but don't expect me to get you a pink chalice with kinky bitch written on the side. Although just about anything at Spencer's Gifts could be used as a weapon. For instance, you could scare away the enemy with a giant cardboard cutout of Robert Pattinson. Everybody quite drunk. Everybody quite drunk. Hey. Why not try? Look over there, suck up. If the kids from the Animorph book series were to transform into animals that created a diversion whenever they were in trouble, what would they morph into? Pink flamingos, red herrings, blue whales, or white rabbits? Oh, honestly. A red herring is an expression used when something draws attention away from the central issue. I just thought it would be funny to have red herrings be the actual correct answer to a question. Yeah, turns out it wasn't as funny as I thought. But hey, thanks for playing along. No, pink flamingos are used for lawns, not diversions. And you want to know what else is used for lawns? Lawn wax! Like what you just won from the Lawn Wax Company. Because when your lawn needs a landing strip, use Lawn Wax. This wrong answer of the game is worth $4,000. Congratulations. 
Where's the bow, girl? Rock my world, girl. Ooh, yeah. Coming up next, this one hurts, but not for long. All right, uh, we're up to, to question five. So, I'm sorry, hang on a second. Bobby there? Cookie, it's Kim. We're almost done with the rest of the questions. Oh, good. Yeah, almost. Excuse me, were it possible in the mainframe for someone to bring four suits into a reference booklet on animal husbandry? I would be greatly iniquitated. Oh, please, God, no. Anyway. <clears throat> Which rod is one rod tall? A 5.5 foot rod Stewart, a 16.5 foot rod Blagojevich, a 50.5 foot rod Serling, or a 124.5 foot Dennis Rodman? You're traveling through another dimension. A dimension not only of sight and sound, but of wrongness. <laughs> Correct answer, show yourself. One rod equals 5.5 yards or 16.5 feet. Next question. How many rods of unnecessary letters are there in Blagojevich? Let's say so long to round one. And you're sitting pretty for someone so ugly. Remember, in round two, every question is worth double. Enough small talk. Here's one I like to call the right to record a studio album with mediocre sales. Well, we're still here. Let's go. Which of these American idols is doing something not protected by the U.S. Bill of Rights? Carrie Underwood carrying a Colt 45, Adam Lambert protesting censorship, Kelly Clarkson voting for governor, or Taylor Hicks contesting parking tickets in front of a jury? The Bill of Rights is another name for the first 10 amendments to the U.S. Constitution. It wasn't until the 19th that women got the right to vote. Although Clarkson was shocked to learn she couldn't vote for governor via AT&T text message. Question seven. Next, Kiefer, I hardly know her. All right, let's see here. If 24 did one more season, Jack Bauer got involved. Jack with Bauer, what would the season be? Okay, this works. Good. Here we go. If 24 did one more TV season where Jack Bauer got involved with a Jack that's a Bauer, what would the season be about? Jack Bauer doing mechanical work on a parade float? Jack Bauer riding a donkey whose mother was a mule? Jack Bauer playing a game of euchre? Or Jack Bauer riding a donkey whose mother was a mule? Hmm, that's weird. So, in Euchre and a few other card games, the Jacks are called Bowers. In fact, Bauer, B-O-W-E-R, comes from the German word Bauer. B-A-U-E-R, just like Jack Bauer. Which reminds me to pass out invitations to my 24-hour office Euchre party. It's a $300 entry fee, and you have to hold in your pee the entire time. Just like Jack Bauer. Blockin' chickens pickin' out a mate. Guess I'll marry a eight. Open wide for the meaning of words can be what is oftentimes impregnable. Women today, what with the impetuous ordering of the unmentionables from the QVC unnecessarily is ludic... What? Women today, what with the... Uh, Cookie, Donnie wrote this one. Oh, boy. <clears throat> Suppose a woman requisitioned from QVC some slippers derivated from real Angora wool. Heretofore, when such slippers are dispatched, which slippers should one expect to be arriving from there? Yeah, Donnie wrote this. Slippers derivated from a lamb, slippers derivated from a kitty, slippers derivated from a goat, or slippers derivated from a bunny. You know what they say, come marching in like a lion, go marching out like a lamb. Wait, no one says that. No, no, I'll get this. Angora wool has the alacrity to be derivated from lambs, cats, and goats. It cannot, however, be extradited from bunnies. Bob, please tell me that's the last question written by Donnie. Well, he is currently writing the Jack Attack. No! Look, I'm sure it'll be fine. Chad! You need something, Cookie? Chad, go write the Jack attack. Do it! Sure, man. Just shoot me a text as a reminder. Right now, Chad! Right fing now! Strolling through the park with the Sasparilla. 
Here's one for you. Don't leave Happy alone with the turkey baster. Okay, now let me take a look at this one. Well, it's in plain English anyway, so we're moving in the right direction. If Snow White... Cookie! Kim! This round is already screwy, I don't need you... But... Shut it! Now, if Snow White made the seven dwarfs a Thanksgiving dinner, which of these would make Sleepy extra sleepy? But actually wouldn't, even though some people think it would. What the hell is going on? Fact-checking error, just keep reading. <sighs> is it... The omega-3s in the butter substitute? The carbohydrates in the stuffing? The sugar in the cramp... <laughs> Yes, tryptophan is a chemical in turkey that makes you sleepy. But, upon further research, we found that though the amino acid tryptophan causes drowsiness, the small quantity of it found in turkey, along with amino acid only being effective on an empty stomach, means that it wouldn't make sleepy more sleepy. More likely, people eating too much food and drinking alcohol on Thanksgiving is what makes them drowsy. Well, I can't wait to see what happens next. Hold me, never let me go. Am I May I introduce... Oh, crap. We don't even have a title for this one? Hello? Do we have a question? Bob? Kim? Helen! Don't look at me. Great. So, um... Is it hot in here? Intern! Bring me a, uh, raspberry lemonade! Good lord, it's hot! Here's your snapple, sir. Good, now go vacuum my wigs. Yes, sir. Um, yeah. Ah, uh, um, okay, be cool, Cookie. Um, question, uh, need a quest. Drop my lid. Oh, yes, all right, um, here's your next question. Pigs have penises that are twisty like corkscrews. Uh, right? Yeah, right. No, no way. I don't know, or I, uh, refuse to answer. Sure, why not? That's what it says here, so, um... Yeah, let's just say that it's true. This is a disaster. Chad! Yeah, Cookie? The jack attack, is it done? Locked and loaded, man. Really? Chad, you're beautiful. And, and you wrote it so quickly. I think you're gonna like it. It's like real minimalist. Back to basics, you know what I mean? Yes, amen, brother. Back to the basics. <laughs> Step. Oh, do you need to be somewhere? My mistake. Here's your clue. Do what I say and we'll get through this together. You wanna pick- Wait, what the hell did he do here? No, no, we can't do this! Helen, shut it off! Shut it off! She wrote! Well, 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 decent job, especially on that oh so challenging jack attack. That one must have taxed your brain almost as much as it taxed the brains of uh, my crack writing staff. You don't know Jack! Nice one, folks. Okay, Danny, let us know what we're doing. So, are you thinking you'd like to enrage in more Tom Flummery? What the f was that? Find out tonight. Oh, Janice, how do you keep your skin looking so youthful? Well, I'll let you in on my secret if you promise to keep it under your hat. This is not my real face. It's a mask! Forever Young Baby Disguise is perfect for those who long for those wrinkle-free days of youth. And it's so simple. Just a color photo of a baby's face blown up and printed on 100% recycled cardboard. Simply apply the mask with tape and voila! You have a baby face. <laughs> and here I thought you were just naturally youthful. No! And it's so much cheaper than surgery! Here, try one! Wow! I can already tell that people are 
are looking at me differently. Thanks to Forever Young Baby Disguise, I can hold my head up high. Hi, I'm Garo Stanton. We at Stanton's Rhyming Dictionary rate our product so high, we really feel it's the best rhyming dictionary money can purchase. Other rhyming dictionaries might say they're the best, but we really feel we're better than all the others. You want rhymes? That's what you need. We've got a book of rhymes that's a pleasure to browse through. So check us out. Our dictionary is truly sublime. It's really the only place to go when you need two words that sound alike. Thank you. Did you know that 12 cups of raw spinach has as much sodium as an order of french fries at McDonald's? Did you say as much sodium as french fries? And that 54 cups of spinach has just as many calories? As many calories as french fries? Makes you think twice about eating spinach, doesn't it? Yes. Spinach. Is it really strong to the finish? Vote no on Proposition 14H and keep spinach and other vegetables out of our schools. Next week on a new episode of Old People Exceeding Expectations. Mr. Tillman, do you need a hand getting to the bathroom? Oh, leave me you some shred of dignity. I can use the toilet without your help. You don't need to hold my hand. Oh, okay, great. Scream if you get trapped in there. Yeah. That's next week on Old People Exceeding Expectations. Hi, Anthony Matterhorn here for Blood Co., the Tri-County's number one resource for your commercial blood needs. And right now, we got more blood than we know what to do with. We got in buckets, baggies, pots, and pans. You name it, it's filled with blood. It's a bloody mess at Blood Co. And I don't mean in a British way. I mean, there's stuff that was once circulating through a living thing all over the place way. Having a party? Need a transfusion? Come to Blood Co. We don't ask questions. Need lamb's blood? We probably have it. We don't really keep track of that sort of thing. Blood Co. We got blood. Why don't you know where it came from? Blood Co. When you need blood, you got to go to Blood Co. Blood Co. <laughs> You dress yourself to the nines every day. Why shouldn't you do the same for your friend with nine lives? At Meow Inappropriate Cat Accessories, we stock hundreds of unnecessary adornments to shamelessly decorate any cat. We've got cat saddles, kitty swim trunks, feline infrared goggles, and introducing the electronic cat translator. Feed me. Leave me alone. Go f*** yourself. So if it's cute, if it's teeny, and if it probably shouldn't go on a cat, then you'll find it at Meow Inappropriate Cat Accessories, located between the Bicycles for Dogs Warehouse and the Lizard Mittens Emporium. Do my bangs look better swept this way? Or that way? Um... <laughs>